Hello, ladies and gentlemen, you beautiful, beautiful people, and welcome to the cube. The delightful cube. Is this annoying yet? Let me know. It's suddenly annoying me. Can I stop saying the cube? So my last episode, we worked on the cube a little bit. This is a theme park that I'm building inside of this giant glass cube. If you've not seen any episodes before, we've done all of the easy objectives, which were attract 800 guests, build a coaster with four excitement and at most 450 meters. And we also built this giant, um, wow, proof, evident proof, evident proof, evidence and proof that I am just the luckiest planet coaster builder in the world. But in this video, hopefully what I'm going to start working towards is getting us to our medium objective, which is attract 1,800 guests and build a roller coaster of six excitement and reaches 70 miles an hour. Uh, I don't know what we're doing yet, but we're definitely going to start clearing these up. There's a couple of things I really want to address. The first thing is this poor little ride I put at the end here never gets any love. If, apart from this one group of people here. Um, or family, as it's otherwise known. Humans, um, you know, live together, and sometimes they'll be called what's called a family. Interesting. It's a, it's a, they are a unique species. Um, but yes, this ride gets absolutely no love and no attention, and that's sad. Uh, so we need to build something here to get more people down this end. But before we do that, I do want to quickly say I want to. <laughs> A massive thank you to you guys for dropping a like on my video yesterday. I had a great birthday. And also, thank you to everyone who's subscribed recently. I've been kind of making these cheesy ad infomercials. Really cringy, but I kind of really enjoy the theme song. Um, <laughs> so, yes, I'm not going to give it to you today, but I just want to say a massive shout out to everyone who's watched these videos uh, more than once and gone, you know what, I am going to subscribe. It's really, really cool, and I appreciate it very much. Right, so I think I mentioned at the end of my last video that... Uh, we haven't really got the money to build a roller coaster, but the money is coming in. But maybe one thing I could do to kind of double whammy, get more money in and more guests is to do a bit of marketing. Um, so let's start a marketing campaign here. Uh, let's do something cheaper just to start with, just to see how the impact goes. This is a thousand dollars. And that will auto renew, but hopefully that will aid us. But what I am going to do today, I've just decided is uh, help the people and charge the people that are too lazy to walk to the entrance of the cube. So what we could do here is build a little track ride. And I want a freaking train. What I want, I want a freaking choo-choo, choo-choo train. I can't believe I just did that in a video. And I can't edit that out. Damn, that's really annoying. Uh, the gondola idea is kind of cool, but what I might do is once we finish the top level here, have gondolas going back down. I might save that for like one of the last things we do. But just to get you to the entrance, I think a little train will be good. Um, I like this one. It's pretty cool. Man, that's expensive. 2,800? I'm not made of money. How about a steamboat? Hmm. That could be, that's nice and cheap. I don't know how we're going to pull this off in terms of like, why there's a boat. <laughs> like, I haven't really worked out. Hang on. We could do, oh man, this is big. This is a big, hmm. So we could have a tr uh, like a boat going around the edge, going past the people. That actually could be quite fun. Okay. Yeah, I like this. This is different. This is going to be real different. But hey, I'm I'm up for a challenge. Right, so let's. Uh, nope. This might cost me a bit of money to do this, but hopefully by the time we've done it, it should, like, kind of work. Right, so we'll grab that. And so this is going to be our little, um, boat moat thing. I'm hoping it kind of fits in here, but we'll find out. It kind of works out for me. Oh, yeah, this is genius! Hopefully this is genius. If you guys might not appreciate this, it's kind of hard. It's kind of why I wish I was live streaming this, but 
Never mind, I guess I can read the comments. I do actually love reading the comments because they're the most fun and I've just realised I've lost all my money. That was so expensive. <laughs> no! Okay, I have $70. Maybe I have enough now? Maybe? Oh, it's so expensive. Whoa. Okay, let's fast forward time. The uh, It is a profitable park, so... You know what we should do? We should actually charge people a bit more to come in. Um, what should we charge them? Uh, let's charge them maybe four dollars and two dollars. Uh, let's go five dollars and two dollars. There we go. So we are making around, if you look up in the corner here, around two thousand dollars a month. So we are making a nice amount of money. So we don't need to worry about just leaving it, um, and kind of generating income. Like, the park will definitely take care of itself. But, um... Okay, so there we go. Maybe I can finish off my moat. Jeez, I was not paying attention to how expensive that is. Whew. That's one expensive moat. Uh, I could have done it down here. Actually, I'm going to be really annoyed if I... <laughs> no, I kind of don't want to do this. The, the reason for... A lot of people who didn't catch the first kind of prologue episode are wondering why it's kind of lifted out of the ground. Because I was going for Kevin the Cube out of, like, Fortnite. In case you're wondering. In case you didn't catch that episode. But let's... Just for argument's sake, put it to there. Mm, I don't... Actually, I kind of do like that. Do I like that? Let's just press... Wait, what if it was uh, standing water? Let's, let's try again. Let's keep it as it was and stick to the plan. Okay, we're going to stick to the original plan. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's, we've like, we've already got, you see in the corner, we've already got like two grand again. So like, we're definitely making enough money. Right, let's stick to the plan. Uh, we're going to go for the boat. Okay, we'll just uh, put it there, like so. I'm hoping that this, if I add water in, it will be kind of the right height. I think the illusion will work. But we'll have to see. Right, so it's two... Oh, wow. This might take me a while. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I think Ollie made a mistake here, guys. Uh, There we go. Another $200. Oh, <laughs> it's going to take me so long. Okay, let me just see if I can actually do what I want to do, which is kind of fill it with water. Does that... Oh, it doesn't really work. That's so annoying. Yeah, annoyingly, this is as, like, low as I can get it. Unless I change settings here. Okay, I've done a little tweak here. Oh, what? I still can't do it. Oh, I wonder if it's actually... <gasps> there we go! Uh... Okay, that's super weird that it's allowed me to do it, but for some reason now, <laughs> like, it's okay. Weird. All right, well, at least we know we can do what we wanted. And that actually, this is going to mean that we can actually... Yes, this is brilliant. Oh, great. Oh, I don't have any money to carry on building. <laughs> no, I have been busy. <laughs> uh, so what I've done here is created what you might call a moat. Kind of delightful. Um... Yes, this took way more time than I care to tell you, but it does mean that I can uh, do my little plan of having a little station. Uh, I'm having a bit of problem with vendors and stuff. Uh, it's kind of getting on my nerves. <laughs> I've turned off the staff management thing and I still seem to have an issue, annoyingly. Um, I don't know about that, but... I'll leave that for another day. Anyway, uh, so let's continue here. We do need to make a station here. So, oh, need to do a bit more train stuff. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Damn, why can I not place a station? Let me place a station. Maybe it's because of the water level. Hmm. What a predicament I'm in here. This is uh, quite annoying because... I remove the water, I bet you I can't place it back after doing that. So let's try it anyway. Edit track. Okay, let's see if I can now get the water back up to where it was. Um, 
No. I want it. No, I want it. Absolutely where it was before. I did it over here, didn't I? Okay, I genuinely don't know how to do this because <laughs> I, I can't... Uh, it's like, I can't do the station when the water level's this high, but I can't reselect the water to be at this level when... Like, I don't... Like, technically, this is underwater right now. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what to do. Right, I'm going to try something a little bit sneaky here. I don't know if this will work, but if I build across there like that. Uh-huh. That does that. So the water is higher in that level. And then if I then remove this. Aha. Right. So I wonder if I now build the station. Like so. And then build a... Right, and then I remove the terrain. Did that work? Oh, <gasps> yes. I'm a genius. Guys, you got to drop a like for that. That was pretty smart. I'm actually really pleased that I managed to fix this because that would have really sucked. I've done all this work and I couldn't do what I wanted to do. But now all I need to do is build it back to the beginning. So, uh, yes. This actually won't take me too long. <laughs> hey, nice. We finally did it. We have a full track moat around the cube, which is uh, awesome. Now we just need to actually figure out how we're going to do this. So one thing, we probably need like, I don't know, 20 boats. All right, so we'll place... Oh, no. Oh, you're joking. Oh no. Right, okay, hang on. I've definitely I can definitely solve this. So entrance. Yes. Okay, and now all I need to do is do the paths. So do a Q. There we go. And then do a little path. Um Oh it's this one I think. No. This one. What is it? Yeah, that one. And I think now if I remove the terrain. Uh-oh. Uh. <gasps> no, it removes it all? Why? Okay, I'm going to be really, 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 really brutally honest with you guys. I can't make this work. I have desperately tried to trick the game into allowing me to do this. Um, it's the paths that are causing the issue. But as soon as I even get a little, like, nope, the water goes. And then it's just sticking out of the ground. So, <sighs> yep, I know, I know. I literally, I can't tell you how many hours I've sat here trying to get it to work. It will not work, okay? I've done all the tricks in the book. I've disabled all collisions that I can in the settings. So instead, I'm going to, with that money we just earned, <laughs> do what I was going to do originally and uh, just have a train. I'm so mad right now. Don't get me wrong, I'm still <laughs> having a moat. It just, uh, yeah, I'm just not going to have a boat anymore. Which, uh, I mean, does it really... Are you joking? I really can't turn it more than 36 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah and then the exit will go just oh that's beautiful okay that was so much easier than what i was trying to do before so in some ways maybe this is better kind of sucks that <laughs> we couldn't have boats in the water but never mind oh finally oh okay so we've got both the stations done uh, we do need to have a few more trains, so maybe 10 trains? I don't know, maybe? Train speed, 10 miles an hour. Let's whack that up to 20. And, right, prices. So, if you would like to go on the train, uh, here we go. So, money, it costs $3. 
another three dollars. Okay, cool. Right, let's open these up. Wait, why can't I? Why must be open? There we go. Okay, it's all open. Let's see how we get on. Oh yes, people are going on the train, people. Three dollars a piece. It's perfect. Oh, it's genius. Although the strange thing is, <laughs> people leaving the park are going back on the train. Maybe they've changed their minds and they're like, you know what? I do love the cube. Yes, I do want to go on the cube. That's hilarious. Everyone is going up. This is brilliant. And now I've got plenty of money to uh, build a roller coaster, I think. Yeah, okay. No, this seems to be perfect now. Awesome. I'm really happy with this. <laughs> choo choo! Oh, yes. The Cube Express. The greatest train ride in the world. Okay, so now that I've got all that sorted and it's taken me about an hour to do, let's finally build this roller coaster for the objective, which is. Six excitement, 70 miles an hour. So I think a really obvious choice here, because the speed is not that high, a hydraulic coaster might be the way to go. So I'm going to actually put it alongside this. There we go. Is that bubble? Let's find out. A little bit lower. There we go. Sweet. Move it out. And this is actually going to be really difficult because... We're not going to have much room to kind of do cornering and stuff. So, yeah, that is going to be interesting. So, my plan, I don't know if it's going to work, is to maybe kind of roll us around to the right here. Make this as short as possible. And go right up to the glass here. I'm going to give ourselves the biggest runway possible. There we go. And the target speed, as I said, is 70 miles an hour. So I'm going to go 72. Launch delay. Yes, acceleration's fine. So we're going to go as quickly as possible. And basically, we're going to find out how quickly we get to 70 miles an hour. I'm hoping it's before we get to the end. Otherwise, we're going to really struggle with this. Let's see. Um. Okay, here we go. Well, the people at the back actually are going to start to... They're going to get whipped sideways. That's really funny. Oh, okay. That was actually way quicker than I thought. Perfect. All right. So, yeah, nice. So, what were the other things? Uh, at least six excitement and 70 fair. Okay. Doable. Definitely doable. I have a bit of height here. I don't want to go too high. Probably won't go as, like, any higher than what I've got over there because this is just a coaster for... Um, actually, that's probably a lie. We could probably go a little bit higher. All right, let's see how that does. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, so, so far, it goes up here. Nice. Can probably smoothen out this bit a little bit. Or oh, have that turn. Goes round. Bit of braking. Nice. Okay. That's a good start. That's a good start. Um, let's just move this out a little bit. All right, so it's a pretty simple roller coaster. Like I said, we don't have that much money, so I can't do too much more than this. Uh, so let's give it a test drive and get the test results here. So I would like to sit at the front, please. Why am I not at the front? Let me sit at the front. That is the weirdest. Okay, we'll just... Oh, there we go. Okay, now I'm at the front. We go around here. It's kind of cool. You can see outside. Go on the launch section. That's pretty cool. I like that. And launch. Whoa. That's going to be cool. So hopefully, if we get the levels right, we're going to be weaving around rides and things. Some braking. It's fine. Ooh. Yeah, it's not the most exciting ride ever. But within the space, I think this is a good first roller coaster. Oh, wow. It's only got an excitement of four. Ah, huh, okay. Well, we can make that better. Probably by removing the brakes. 
All right, so I've been working pretty hard on this one. So we were nowhere near. We were like at a four. We obviously need a six for this uh, next objective here. So, and we also need to go around 70 miles an hour, which I didn't check, but I'm pretty sure we weren't going that speed. Anyway, so rather than having the weird snake slow thing up to the main launch of this coaster, we've got a small launch, which I'll show you. Goes down and then kind of settles into the big launch and then you guys have seen the rest. So let's give this a try and see how this gets on. Here we go. This is pretty cool. So we get a little bit of speed out of the gate go on to this mini launcher here and I don't know Whoa! gets us up to around 30 miles an hour up here which is a bit more interesting than what we were at and also we can do some kind of interesting things with the ride uh, pretty cool bit of tension nice oh <laughs> awesome oh! there we go Looking good. Nice. I've banked this a little bit more. Whoa. That was close. Whew. All right. What's the ratings? Hey. Wow. That's actually really good. Six, six, six rating for excitement. Five fear and two nausea. That's actually pretty good. Huh. All right. Um, there was a couple of bits I wanted to improve. Uh, I think this bit was a bit sudden, so let's just smoothen that out a little bit. And then I think there was this was fine. Um. Okay, so we made it marginally better, which I'm really happy about. So let's uh do the entrances and stuff. All right, there we go. Looking good. We've even got people going on it. Like I said, it's $12 to go on, I think. Yeah, $12, uh, which is a great little money maker. So I'm really excited about this. It's actually a good little roller coaster with the ratings. And yeah, um, I'm a bit worried that I've blocked off a bit of space here. But I think what I'll do is I'll use the path here, maybe, or come off of this. In fact, I could probably do that now. Um... I'm going to save that for another day. Uh, let's check the trains. Everything good here. Okay, people still going on. These people are on. Nice. Let's check the queue to go to the trains. Oh, perfect. Awesome. Yeah, the train idea was brilliant. So <laughs> I'm super excited about that. And yeah, this coaster looks great. Like I said, we need to put stuff around it and not just have roller coasters. But for our first level here, this is uh, looking pretty good so far. Anyway, if you've enjoyed today's video, remember to drop a like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.